Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to the Crafty Bird. I hope you are all doing fine. Today's tutorial is about this very beautiful window curtain. So let's get started. So to make this curtain, you need a reeling on which you will uh, attach your cords by the help of flocks and knot. I am just using a PVC pipe here and I sprayed it golden. Then I just pass through the rope through this PVC pipe and I hand it. Like this, you can pass the cord through the PVC pipe and you can then hang it like this. So to start this, we need to uh, see a few things. I am taking a reeling of 34 inches because uh, uh, the curtain I want to make is 30 inches. So I'm leaving two inches space on the both side, two inches here and two inches on the left side. And then I will adjust all the 84 cords in between this 30 inches distance because I want 30 inches wide curtain. Now you need to make 21 sets of jute like this. Each group will have four jute cords like this and you need to make 21 groups like this. Keep in mind every group is having four jute cords. Each cord is 165 inches long. Fold it in half. So this is what I am going to do here. Make 21 groups each group having four cords and don't disturb this two inches of length because uh, we will attach the reeling uh, by using this two inches uh, on the window later. So I'm going to do this now. So as I'm using jute cord, uh, there are so many fibers on jute cord. You all know this. So we need to get rid of these uh, fibers to give a neatly look. So what we are going to do here is before working. And you need to do it very quickly because uh, you know this need a little bit of care and you need to do it very very quickly so in this way you will get rid of the extra fibers you can see i made these uh, grand square knots here uh, how i do this uh, let's see use one group one, two, three, four cords. Grab the right most and make a square knot. Leave 1.5 inches of distance from this large head knot to this square knot. You need to leave 1.5 inches of distance. Make square knot by using two left and two right cords. You will make two square knots. Distance, you know, 1.5 inches distance and make a square knot and then Underneath the first square knot, make another square knot that will give us two square knots like this. Grab the next group, four cords in each group, and make a square knot by leaving 1.5 inches of distance. And repeat this for the whole piece. For the whole piece. So now you can see uh, we just completed uh, square knot. Now take 50 inches of extra piece of tube and uh, we will tie it here and start making double half stitches in this way, leaving 1.5 inches of distance like we left above. So first cord leaving 1.5 inches of distance. First cord.
So once we are done with this double half hitch, now we will group the cords again. Uh, from the right and left side, leave six cord like this, six here and six here, and then like. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. 12 cords in each group and we will make 13 groups like this and then we will make fishbone pattern. So as you can see I just made fishbone pattern here. What we have to do is pick 4 cords from here and 4 from here and then fold this. So these are 12 cords. 4, 4 and this is 4 also. Make square knot by using this central 4 cords like this. 4 cords. You will need square knot. Now, uh, leave this you know, right and left. Just pick these two centers. You will use this. Pick the right from the adjacent group and one from this left. And by using this, grab the two central cords and make square knot as usual. Then, leave this two by using the central two cords. Pick one from the right and one from the left and again make a square knot. So in this sense, we are going to make the fishbone structure. Uh, we will make a fishbone pattern uh, like this and then underneath this fishbone pattern by using the four cord we will make a belly knot single belly knot just leave a very little space because we are going to use these two and make a square knot one two square knot and then final three square knot so in total we are going to make three square knots make a single belly knot. Now pick the two central cords. Make a belly knot and then now we are going to do this again. Pick the central four cords. Leave a little space very little space here. Make three square knots. Pick the central two cords. Right one will go to the right uh, hole here. And the left from the left. Like this. So here you can see I made uh, 4 square knots on the left side and 4 on the right side. Uh, the fishbone pattern and berry knot uh, to hold project. Now we will make double half inches. We will use 50 inches of the jute cord and we will make double half inches like this. Pick the cords one by one. Don't disturb their order. The way we are coming, keep them in the same order and then start making little half edges.
once we are done with the double half inch row here now we will divide the cords again leave six cords here then we have this group and this will make 12 square knots leave the four cords we have this group and this group will make 13 square knots then we leave four cords and another group here this will make 12 square knots and here we have six cords again so six 12 square knots four cords 13 square knots four cords 12 square knots and six cords here So here you can see I just made these inverted uh, shape V shape pattern and then I made this diagonal half it. Uh, we left six cords here, four in between, four here and then six here. And then by using the very adjacent cord, like take this one and start making diagonal half edges like this. So after completing uh, these diagonal half edges in V-shape pattern, I'm just adding these in the central two cords like this. So add these the, uh, under the V-shape by using the central two cords. Now what we'll do, take these two cords and make a square knot. We are going to make square knots and we will create our diamond shape pattern. Now these two and side two. Make a square knot and now pick this and decide to square knot again. One more time and in this way we will have central line with three square knots and then we will start producing it again. diamond shape pattern by making more square knots so you can see one square knot then two and then three So you can see I just made this diamond shape pattern 1, 2, 3, then 2 and 1, then I made a switch knot here, square knot. After this I'm making spiral knots and this will be like 3 inches and then I will again make uh, 1 switch knot. So we completed uh, and we made this spiral knot for 3 inches. So it's almost uh, 3 inches now, so it's 3 inches now, now we'll switch it again. The right and left cords will come inside and the center will go outside and after leaving 2 inches of distance make one square knot and then just make a square knot and then we'll again make spiral knot for 3 inches so what we have done in this first create a diamond shape pattern then make a switch knot for uh, and the distance is like 2 inches then make spiral knot row and the distance is 3 inches and now I'm again making a spiral knot 3 inches for these shorter ends like this is what we have we are having shorter and we will add a cord here and I will show you how to add a cord 
so we got three inches so the v shape pattern then a bead the diamond shape switch knot for two inches three inches spiral knot then two inches switch knot and then three inches spiral knot and this is now finished you will do the same uh, on this side and here we will just make a little bit bigger diamond shape pattern So instead of three rows, now we are making four rows, and then we will start decreasing this to create a diamond shape. So we have one, two, three, four. Here we have three, and here we have four, and now we will decrease it. Cords are a little short, take a piece of cord and then just sew it. You can glue it also, but I like to sew it. You can always use the similar color. See, this is not even noticeable here. So that's how you can always do this. So this is our pattern now. I uh, made three inches of spiral knot on the left and right side and leave at least uh, 4.5 inches of distance. It's like uh, almost equal to this point shape. Start from this point shape like this. And uh, I just completed this diamond shape of pattern of updating. Now we will add these tassels. These tassels are uh, will be added here and here. How I made this? This is 20 inches off. Uh, jew cord and these are 20 jew cord 20 inches of 20 jew cord fold them in half you can take 22 inches also because you will trim them and then uh, uh, we'll shave them so and then uh, make a tassel the, this is the gathering knot simple gathering knot you will just tie it here like this one side here one from the back side like just it i need it here like like here and then i will just tie it simply like this, a simple knot. Knot will remain back side. And here you go. Simply uh, leave four parts here and add a bead. And then I add it here. Uh, keep them in symmetry, but add them randomly as you like. Then we have to cut uh, 65 inches of uh, this jute cord, and we will make some braid, three stranded braids, like I did here and here. We have to do this randomly. What I'm doing is, I'm leaving 9 cords from here, 9 from here, and then I'm adding uh, the braids here. I added the braids on the left side too, now I will show you here. So pick the cord randomly, and then fold the 65 inches of cord, and above the 65 inches of cord, keep the other cord coming from above, and start making 3 strand braid, simple 3 strand braid, like this. We will add 
six braids like this two on the left side two on the right side and two on the center piece. so that's how you are going to finish your piece and then uh, we have another thing to do i will just take a brown acrylic color and then i will just paint the that's on this uh, gathering knot here and here. Uh, I will shade these berry knot a little bit just to uh, give it more character and uh, to match them with these beads, these brown beads. Uh, these beads are wooden beads and I colored them with acrylic color, brown color. Now after finishing these uh, braids, we will continue further. So this is the back side of our curtain. You can see these pieces. You can then just grab these and pull them like this. So we just completed our project today. I hope you love this beautiful window curtain which is 30 inches wide and 40 inches long. I just trimmed the ends straight like this. Please like share and subscribe my channel until the next tutorial please take care of yourself and for the office